Jones. Hey, y'all, it's Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk, and the Black Unicorns. Telling you I'll fix it. To fix you? No, I'm not. I will not try to fix... I'll try to fix the problem. I will not try to fix you. Or down below. When you're too in love to let it go. Cause if you never try, then you'll never know just what you were. Lies will guide you home and ignite your bones. And I will try to fix you. Y'all! Oh my God. So today's show is just like what today's show is. So I call today, but remember this. My family knows why. But remember this. But remember this. And we telling it, and I'm telling it, and it ain't your business. Why? But remember this. So remember this. So today is like all about memorization because school is starting, and it's like you really have to understand what the elf you talking about. Like you really got to understand. It's so many ways for us to understand. It's so many like ideas and cultures and all this different stuff out there for us to be able to understand so that's what it is so today i'm going to start though i'm going to start with the routine and this has nothing to to do with the memorization this is just like getting yourself in the routine i got this from whitney english so uh number one start the night before so she's like i i was like yeah start the night before like writing something as a reflection of your day so some so i got this also from five minute journal I like to do my journal at the end of the day. Like, it's saying, like, wake up and do this. If you want to wake up and do this, you can. But I do that at night because it's like a, it's a reflection. I am grateful for, and then you list three things that you're grateful for. Um, then it's like, what made your day great? And I told y'all about this once before, you know. What will I what will make tomorrow better? Write three affirmations. Like I am today I was healthy. Today I was strong. Today I was on time. You see what I'm saying? On a daily basis, think about relationships, experience, and things and things around you that have helped you, uh, that have helped your day. So the reason why you do that is so that every day is not mundane, like, oh, well, I just started out and I just saw this morning I felt this. Like cause some people just like list out the same shit. It's like it's not about the same shit. It's like actually make your day productive um also check out six ten steps to make sunday the most productive of the night of the week and i got that from the muse.com she just like has like this listen about how to make your sunday like give yourself ambiance get yourself a drink you know set up all your materials and all this different stuff and at the bottom of the on the web page i give you like um stuff like you know the planners the writing things all this different stuff because you don't actually have to write you can type it out too so all that stuff is like really up to you um step two create a beautiful morning routine i put in the bunny yoga so bunny yoga is like it's the cutest shit ever so it's a sequence that says repeat this sequence six times i went to do yoga yesterday and i could no the other day before yesterday my back is like already in pain i like my back is hurting again my back just healed and i went to go do yoga and it's back in pain again so i'm walking bad again so it's like um you got to do this sequence six times. I don't lose. I was only able to do a sequence, like one sequence, but I did like four, four sequences, four different sequences one time. So it's like for real, this like saying repeat this six times and you'll feel better. Um, number three, brain dump, write it all down. Just sit down and just put, get a sheet of paper, just write it all down. That's it. Number four, review the big picture. So I put getplan.co, y'all, what did I do? So I hooked my plan is up to the email addresses or whatever i go back in to delete it because somebody like it's like when i'm logging into this computer in here it's almost as if somebody else is trying to log in my shit too so it'll be white like it'll be like all the stuff i need for my show i can't get to it because it'll be like a white page so i go and i delete the stuff off of her 
I actually end up deleting all the work that I just put into the planner and to get plan.co. So be careful. Don't do that. Okay, don't make that mistake. It's easy for me to do it because all I do is copy and paste for shit, man. I just did all that work for nothing. Um, next, review the big picture. Again, because GetPlanet.co has like three different types of uh, timelines, it's like it's easy to see. So it has a list. Then also you can look at it as a Kanban. And it's like it's just like a like a, a history, like a historical timeline, I guess. And then you can look at it as a timeline. And so it just like lines it up and shows you what your projects are, what dates you have for this project, all this different stuff. Um, work work your list again. That you can do that and get plan. Co. Remember, only six tasks today. If they large, if it's small, do ten. And if you don't get get a chance to complete a move until the next day, and again, it's still the same thing. It's either six to ten, depending on what you do. Six large, ten small. Um, number seven, finish each day with a ten minute tidy. If you do stuff as you now, listen. There's some East St. Louis and Cahokia knowledge. When we in the kitchen and we cooking, we go ahead and put it. We make some hot dish water. Listen, because I'm y'all, it'd be like people don't teach y'all this shit. And so when we get in front of y'all and we see y'all nasty, we can't take it. I'm just trying to get y'all a tip. Listen, you make some hot dish water. And while you cooking, you just go ahead and put the dishes in there and wash them up as you go. You see what I'm saying? This why we just be like, nah, we can't, uh-uh, I can't eat your fucking food. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't know how to clean up. So it's like, don't be a mess. That's something that we do. So it's like, that's what I'm saying, too. If you have to do anything, like, to do this project or whatever, or it is something that you had to start the night before, you know, you getting ready, right? So tidy up as you go. If you have to make a mess, tidy up as you go. Just start putting this stuff away. Put all your trash in a in a container. Uh, what's her name teaches you this too? She'll get a bowl and just put all her scraps into the bowl. I do that because I do, um, because when I'm cooking, I also try to make the scrap kitchen garden. I also try to, um, recycle. So I do, and I compost. So it's like, I put the compost in one thing. I put, you see what I'm saying? I go ahead and put the trash in the trash. If it's plastic, okay, let's say, for instance, I got a, a lettuce. I'm going to tell you everything I'm about to do with this lettuce. So I get the lettuce. I'm going to rip off the ends, especially if it just, like, came from the farm or something. Like, I rip off the end, I go ahead and put that into some water for compost. Like, not for compost, but to, like, regenerate some more leaves, right? So, the rest of it, because I'm going to push it down, take out the middle of it. I'm just going to do a regular lettuce. Okay, I hate it, too. I hate iceberg lettuce, but okay. So, I'm going to push it down, take that out, and I'm going to put that in water. So, it can, like, grow some more whatever. Once I put that in water, I'm going to cut everything up I need, okay? And sometimes it's like it be like some wilted pieces. So the wilted pieces, I'm going to put those in compost. So I'm going to put that into a bowl that's on the counter for compost. Because sometimes I have to freeze the compost if I can't get outside. Like if it's too cold, if it's too hot, maybe I got something to do for the day. I can't always get outside. So I just go ahead and put it in the freezer until I can get outside. So I actually have a freezer compost bin that I use too. I just get a, and I get it from the Dollar Tree. I just get a tin, a tall tin container and just throw the stuff into there. You see what I'm saying? So then when I go outside to compost, I just throw it in there, mix it up and go on about my business. Maybe I throw it in there, put a, put another handful of leaves of trees on their twigs whatever i found outside and just let it compost y'all see what i'm saying so it's like it makes a sandwich um when you get over there you see like it'll be bugs and like delicious dirt and all this different stuff and that's the stuff that you use inside your garden but you want to kind of make sure it's like already composted down if you got a compost where it drips you can take the juice drippings and put that in the garden too because it's like all that stuff is nutrients Something that you also have to think about is like nitrogen. If this a nitrogen rich something, or if this is, that's why you want to get planting books because then that'll tell you like, does this need more nitrogen? Does this need more whatever? So then the next year you'll switch up where you put everything at. Unless you have a movable garden, then you could just you see what I'm saying like it just like you just change the pots out. Use the same dirt, but you'll use the you'll put a different type of thing in there. You'll switch it around because some things need different types of nutri- nutrients and air. You see. So next, this day is to plan your calendar, prep meals, set up, oh, I'm sorry, pick up a weekly prep day. Usually it's on Sunday. That's why I put in our, go to the the muse.com, and that is what she's telling you, like how to just set it up for Sunday. And if that's just only if you don't know. If this is something new for you, you don't know, then just go ahead and look. And if it is something that you already do, 
what is it like? What the fuck can I do to make this shit better? You know what I'm saying? And that's what she's saying. Don't stress out about it. This is what you do. This is what you do for this. Okay, next. Other ideas to consider. Financial. Because she didn't put that in her Make a budget. Um, find cheap date nights. Invest and save. So, if you want to try to put that on your calendar too. Like, what are you going to invest in? Like, what are you saving? Um, me, I always have cheap date nights with whoever I date. Unless he's an asshole. Then we never have a date at all. But it's like... And that's the cheapest date I could go, ever go on. I've actually had men tell me, you just a cheap date. Yes, I am. Like, it's like, don't you know we got to save money, nigga? Like, it's like, I, that's why I don't date you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you have to have something for yourself. So, it's like, um, a cheap date taking a walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? Going in the car and letting out, down all the windows. Sitting out on a lake at night. Like, going fishing early in the morning. Like, some of these things are, like, so cheap. Like, it's like going to a dollar movie. We, now they, like, 75 cent, 50 cent. It's like the dollar movies actually got cheaper. And is it cheaper for me to buy a hot dog there or make my own and, like, sneak it in the movies? You know what I'm saying? Some of this shit is just, like, so fun. So, be a cheap date. It's okay. We used to um, also take get $5 and then it's like either we combine the $5 or we um, spend the $5 on snacks and food or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, or we keep it to ourselves and then we figure out what we're going to do. And it's like, we always, it's always a place to get like a dollar burger or a dollar hot dog or we'll eat at the house. You see what I'm saying? So, that's a cheap date. And we'll go in our best clothes too. Like, y'all, we dress the fuck up. We be cleaning as a motherfucker, sitting there in there, letting our sore asses. I mean, for real, I, my ass will be sore, like numb, like pins and needles sticking in that motherfucker. Because we just said to watch three fucking movies, talking about it's a cheap date night. Uh, we, I mean, and we started like, what, 12, and we don't leave until 8 or 9 o'clock at night doing this dumb shit. We only leave to go eat. That's it. Uh, intellectual. Read a book, learn new skills. So right now I'm in the middle of Mama. Um, y'all, I didn't just gave the whole cast Spooky is what Terrence Howard, uh, Jamie Foxx is crook. Oh, what if the the whole thing is what if Jamie Foxx played the men that ain't got no sense? You know what I'm saying? Jamie Foxx and like, um, what it is like some of the guys from the Living Color, the ones that can look cross eyed and shit like that because they saying half these niggas when she like they okay, but they ain't the shit, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, half 50 cent play crook, you see what I'm talking about? Like, it's like change it up because he don't never do no roles like that. You be want to see some real shit for real, like it's like I like that idea. So, I was like really looking at that story, I'm like, oh my god, and I already gave it a cast and everything. And y'all know what? I know I hate this bitch, Miss Peters, but that bitch could probably play mama good, y'all. Because you know her lip. Miss Peters' lip like that, too. But her lip, supposedly, like, she got to tuck it in because he didn't hit her. So, she got to tuck it in to the side like this. I'm like, mama remind me of me. It's like mama remind you of so many women. The woman that the men always want in the neighborhood. It's like, oh, my God. She like Miss Parker. Hey, Miss Parker. Hey, she always getting her some dick. I'm not joking. So next, let's go to the next one. Social decorate room with the motivator theme. So that's something else. My cousin, she, uh, you can pick like, like say for instance, like my son loves um, Imagine Dragons. So it's like, what if I just like decorated his room this time with dragons instead of dinosaurs? You see what I'm saying? Like it's like, and that's a motivator theme. And then you can put some parts from the from the songs too because Imagine Dragons is like very motivating so if you look at the lyrics you could like put some of the lyrics on the wall you could like you see what I'm saying you don't have to really put pictures on them but you can make them like the motivative theme so now it's like I'm surrounded by what I think they are because they make people feel good style change your hair color make a clothing vision board I was still used to icky guy for this one. Like, how would I look if I went to start my business? That's your financial. How would I look when I when I went to the doctor? You know what I'm saying? What's the best um, outfit for the doctor or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm serious. Use the icky guy board. Uh, use the icky guy to make your vision board. Find your signature scent. It's like, I know. It is health and fitness. That is not the wrong one. I'm sorry. You're such a leech. Okay, so yeah, the next one is like, uh, find your signature scent. 
So it's like find a scent that's right for you. You know, like find out what it is. Is it vanilla? Is it orange? What is it? What it, what makes you go gaga? Google gaga. You know, like one of mine for real is like bergamot. It's like something that's like for men, but I love it. I love it, darling. I love it. This man got me flipping out. What is my category? Isn't it health and fitness? Fitness and health. That's all I do is fitness and health. The criticisms. The criticisms. Okay, he's such a leech. Okay, next. So that's it for for um for Canva. Thank you so much for listening and paying attention. Thank you. Have a great day. So let's move on to memorization. So the, the real reason for this show today is like memorization. And one thing that I want you really to remember is that if you really want to learn it, and this is for school, you have to know what they're talking about. If you don't know what they're talking about, find somebody that's going to tell you what they're talking about. Because everybody, or find a way for it to be broken down for you to be able to talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? For you to be able to have a, a conversation about it. So memorization tips. And this is for every learning style. So social versus solitary. So some learn better in a quiet environment on their own. Others thrive when learning with others. Know uh, what works for you. So it's like some people like to, I like to be by myself when I first start making something because it's like, how do I categorize this? I would say get like note cards, get different colors, pe- color pens and all this different stuff. Because remember, I'm like 50-50, okay? So it's, if I'm social with somebody, um, and I have to learn with them. First off, they have to be in a com- like I have to be comfortable with you. Your your attitude and your demeanor has to be like kind of like low key. Like I'm not just like you. I need you to be hype all the time. No, like I actually have to learn it. And so it's like if you doing too much, I'm not able to concentrate or read about it. So that's it. So if you're social, I have to still I still have to have the same tools, note cards, different color pens, different things like that. And it's sometimes it's really good to learn socially because you get to discuss it. Now for me, solitary math is like a solitary situation cuz it's like usually I get the problems right and I just want to do it for fun. I don't need anybody that are like, "No, you fucked up." You know, like, "Yeah, you stupid." Bitch. You know, it's like, "No, I just really need somebody there to help me." Really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, let's play. That's it, because math is playful. Physical kinesthetic. Associate movements with words 2 plus 2 equals 4 is repeated while jumping. 3 plus 3 is equals 6 is repeated while jogging in place. Repeating facts with the same movements to memorize. This is like something that, um, what is this thing? Gym teachers can help. And also, it's another tool out there called uh, Go Noodle. So, Go Noodle is like something like if you are helping your kids learn, it's like gold noodle is the shit because you get to move like they actually have a game and i think it is just better for you to just do it in the classroom with some with some cards or whatever like you can do like facts a week so you can do the ones a week if you're doing timetables you can do twos that week and then keep practicing or whatever so it's like if they run in place and moving their arms and all this different stuff that's all they do is repeat what those facts are you just put it on a big poster board and they will actually be able to learn it so it's like those the kinesthetic that's what it is and you can put a beat with it and it's like you can do the same thing every day for a week and i'm pretty sure by the end of the week they will pass the test they will pass the fucking test. Um, what you could do, too, on Friday, you just do random. So, if you did ones one week, and you did twos the next week. On the third week, when you're doing threes, you can add the ones and the twos. If you want to throw them off for real, just throwing up uh, those, like, six times seven, seven times five, uh, seven times eight. It's, some, it's a list of timetables that are repeated, like, all the time. Like, it's, like, something that we as humans cannot really um cannot really do you see what i'm saying like it's just something we gonna repeat forever and it's in nature too it's in it's in what we do daily so if you look up all those timetables that are repeated you can actually start them by they'll already know them you see what i'm saying so even when you play the game y'all start practicing them and then as you play together you start just pulling them out and that's it like it's like you just get a big sheet and make sure they get it right like when it's right there in front of them and it's something that they messed up on or whatever if it's right there in front of them to see it all the time daily then they start to learn it too you gotta think about how you learned when you were little so let me see go noodle i didn't put that on the list today um 
Um, and hold on, I'm trying to look at me. I didn't put that on the list, so I was just like, let me put that on the list. Because it's already a game on the Go Noodle. But they might not know all the timetables. And you can start them as early as, like, I would say as second grade. Because third grade, they have to know timetables. So, it's like some people be like, well, you taught them too much. And it's like, no, you didn't. You didn't teach them too much because if you get a book on what a third grader should know, that motherfucker is fat. So, a second grader should know this, this fat. And you just like, are they serious? They supposed to know this stuff? Like, yeah, they supposed to know it because it's somewhere in their life. Like, it's somewhere on Carol TV. It's somewhere, some, you see what I'm saying? It's just, they know about it, but they don't know why they know about it. It's somewhere on a TV show or something else that they saw. Okay, visual. See the facts and lines repeated by writing them on windows or mirrors with special markers. You can also have them right on desk if you're a teacher. Print facts. If you're a person, you can just get a, 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 a board. Uh, print facts off on paper, hang in the car, include pictures whenever possible. So that same thing in your house, you can have a board where you just put stuff up and it's like they will visually see it. I actually did a research paper on this. That once they visually see it and hear it, it's just like it's just a circle, just making them remember what's going on. But the visual is very important. So it's like, again, if you create a lesson, remember you want to think about the social learner. You want to think about the solitary learner, and you want to put everybody in everybody else's shoes. So by Friday, when they get ready to do what they're doing, you'll look around the room and see who is the, the people that were good at this and good at that. You can start putting them in different groups. You see what I'm saying? If you know that this person is a solitary learner, and they are solitary learners too, put them in a group to start first. If this person is a social learner, go ahead and put them in a group away from people so they can talk. You see what I'm saying? Or you can put them next to the solitary learners because then it's like they not going to say nothing to them because they're going to stay focused on what they're learning. And what they're doing is talking to each other, and that's okay. You see what I'm saying? And you tell your class, this is why we're doing this because they like to talk. For the physical kinesthetic learners, you can say, oh, you want to make up a dance or like a workout routine so we can learn how to do this together. You see what I'm saying? Visual. And you give them time to do this for visual people if they like to draw. Can you draw me... Um, can you go ahead and make me a anchor chart for the classroom? Can y'all just see what's better for us to put this information on this anchor chart? And you have to teach these things before. So logical, mathematical, you can even have them, the physical, kinesthetic people, put your stuff into the go noodle for you, like your spelling words and all that stuff. Because sometimes that stuff is just tedious. How the kids do it? Logical, uh, mathematical, focus on the order. Uh, type of hand, write out the words, then cut them into individual pieces to work on memorizing, put the parts into the correct order. So this is like for kids who just like to like make this. This does not make sense. This problem does not make sense. Let me break it up and see. And you can ask them, can you break that down for me and see if it, how we can make it out of order so we can put it back in order? So that's going to be the kicker right there. When they take it out of order to put it back in order, man, I'm talking about if you can't get that kid an A, you can't get that kid an A. If this kid is telling you, no, I like the numbers, and what I'm about to do is break this down so I'm going to see if you can figure it out. Can y'all figure out my puzzle? You see what I'm saying? That's what they're saying. If they can do that, it's, it is the shit. And you as a learner can do that too. Can I break this up and then put it back together? Can you? Verbal. Sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes it's still hard. If it's still hard, they don't get it yet. Verbal. Instead of simply repeating out loud, work on saying every other word. Go back and forth with every other word or fact with the partner. So it's like, y'all, one plus, then you point to the number two is three. You see what I'm saying? Five times six is, I mean, five times six is 30. Y'all see what I'm saying? Five times six is Five times is 30. So y'all just keep doing it. Musical or auditory. You can play music all day and play something that's good for them. Because remember, don't do the um, the megahertz or whatever. Because it's too loud for them. It's not loud for us anymore. We just be like, oh my god, it's a violin and then a harp. And it's like that is killing their fucking ears and their brain too. So what you have to do is just pick some music that's good for them to listen to. Mainly something they listen to all the time because then they'll remember it that way. Like, don't get into the classroom and start putting them with, like, I would say if you like Motown, get them something that they can start learning to like too. You see what I'm saying? So if you play Motown all day, you're going to play Sam Cooke all week. Pick a theme. I'm playing Sam Cooke all week, kids. This Sam Cooke week. 
So now it's Sam Cook. We what we learned this week? Timetables. So I know my timetables with Sam Cook because he having a party and everybody singing. You gonna have a whole group of kids opening up a club when they graduate? No. But what I'm saying is, it's like now what are we gonna do? You see, what I'm saying, oh my God, I remember that week we learned about this Asian girl who wrote a letter. I remember that week we learned about how polar bears are that color because they have to adapt. Oh, that um, and the see the bottom of the sea animal is white and the top is is uh dark. And if another sea animal sees that, they'll flip the other animal over because they know there's something that they in danger. So it's like it's not only a warning; it's uh that something is happening. I mean, it's not only a warning that this animal like it's not only something that's helping them uh what is it camouflage it's also a warning to each other to help them out you see what i'm saying because in the sea they ain't always trying to eat each other sometimes it's like no let me help you flip over because something going on like you're not flipping back over like you gotta live you know what i'm saying so it's like that is something else that goes on so a music auditory you just like the kids be like yep that was sam cook week because we learned having a party and everybody singing and the teacher passed out some popcorn. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You get what I'm talking about? And y'all, and then you kids, stick letters can be, learners can be like, okay, well, we learned how to bop. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that is when you let a teacher really teach her class. When you really let a teacher teach her class from herself, from himself. Without you coming in there telling them all this different stuff about, well, you did this wrong, you didn't say this, and you didn't write that down, and what's the objective? The objective is for the kids to learn, period. Fuck y'all. Y'all keep, that's why education fucked up right now. Y'all let the wrong people give you the wrong type of information. Because that's all the fuck they going to do is come in the classroom. What is the objective? So What? The objective this week is Sam Cook and how I'm gonna have soul inside my fucking body from this from me learn learning how to have a party. You see what I'm saying? That's a good week for you to be like, okay, this Halloween week. We learning about Sam Cook and how we gonna have a party. Do you know how many fucking lessons you will get done? Y'all will learn everything you have to learn for that week and still have a good ass party. It's because y'all don't wanna take the time to let people go. We can't sit in here and teach like we in the fucking 1900s and it's 2022. Y'all better kiss somebody ass. I be getting pissed off y'all every show because these bitches done stole my shit and still can't teach. They just, oh, I'm going to wake up this less. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Y'all, I'm serious. It's like you really still have to give a theme and everything else too for you to learn how to enjoy your fucking job. And just because they enjoy their job don't mean a bitch got to come in there and change it. No nigga either. I'm just going to keep that shit real. Y'all some low life motherfuckers for what y'all did. And still ain't teaching shit. Y'all score still fucking low. I hate a hoe. Anyway, that's it. It's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns telling you if you were educated and every, ever fuck with anybody that with good scores, bitch, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. That motherfucker dead anyway, bitch. I don't know what a horse is. Anyway, that's it. And Blake, thank you and I love you. Have a good day.